Well, hey, Portland is a kombucha lover's destination. And if you're looking for some of the best booch in the city, you probably want to visit Soma Kombucha. The local business has won best kombucha in Portland not just once, uh -huh. but twice. Jean-Pierre Parent is the owner of Soma Kombucha and joins us live to tell us what sets his brews apart. You've sent quite a few of them over here yeah. this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. So, okay, what, what makes your kombucha so special and, and deserving of that best kombucha title? Well, I'm, I'm humbled and, and grateful for that, um, that award that we won. Um, yeah, so, you know, our, our kombucha is brewed in a really special way that's unique in, in the biz. Um, we, we do a very authentic fermentation that takes a long time. So it has time to develop more probiotics. It, it has a natural sugar that develops in the fermentation process. So it tastes sweet, but it's actually low in sugar. And it's also naturally carbonated, which is way healthier for us and also for the planet. Oh, totally. So mm -hmm. I actually, uh, I learned about Soma Kombucha from mm -hmm. Kelly Bayern, our morning meteorologist, who is a big kombucha fan. And so we, we figured, you know, we'd have you guys on because it's her birthday. So we got to bring Kelly in <laughs> she to, to celebrate. Over. She's very excited to be here. Yeah, you actually went to one of the tap rooms, right? Yeah, I, I think I go every Friday and I fill up a half gallon. So oh, some God. of the, the folks in the Belmont uh, a tap room know me pretty well. I love this stuff. It is well, so much fun. Like certain flavor that you fill mm -hmm. up? Yeah, so it's, it's a full tap room. They have, yeah. I think, eight or nine, ten flavors on tap. And I just fill up a jug. Um, they're so tasty. I really like them because they're they're so easy to drink. Yeah, they are. So we've mm -hmm. got a couple to, to taste here. We wanted to try. Um, we poured out some of the the recharge. So okay. tell us about that one, John. Sure. Yeah. Well, so that's actually a, a really special culture uh, that we call re. It's uh, the culture is traditionally called Tibetan crystals. Um, it's uh, it's a variation of uh, juice kefir, and it comes from Tibet. It likes hard mountain water. We have soft water here in Portland, which is why beer is is so successful here. Um, but it, it wants uh, some more minerals, so we add shilajit, which is this bio mineral pitch that's wild crafted in the Himalayas. It oozes out of the tops of the mountains and crevices and things. And so shilajit plus Tibetan crystals is re, which is Tibetan for um, for mountain. Oh, wow. So it's like okay. life it force good. of the Himalayas. Yeah, and it's a great flavor. We've only done one flavor. It's like really great, but I, we're just so busy that, you know, we, we, we don't launch new flavors very often. So yeah. uh, we're planning on, on expanding that one. Oh, very cool. Well, yeah. it's, it's great. I, it's got really nice little light bubbles. And now mm -hmm. you guys also do, in addition to the kombucha, you know, which has the, the scoby and, and it's all the natural fermentation, mm -hmm. you also have this mind water. So, so tell us about that. Yeah, well, that's our, our wellness water, one of our three um, different styles of wellness water. It's a naturally sparkling wild spring water with CBD. <laughs> it's got medicinal mushroom extracts that are all fruiting body, organic, um, northwest, foraged or grown. And um, it's flavored with organic citrus essential oils. So it's really great. It's re really refreshing, uh, but it's, it's also super healthy. I mean, the mushrooms on, on their own the CBD, you know, it, it's really great. So we have one for mind, one for body, and one for stress. Oh, so we'll be able to well, think very water. clearly. I was going to say, <laughs> we are going to be had this on today. point for That's the rest of like the show. show. Every time I drink one of those, I'm like, really? yes, yeah. I'm at my best. <laughs> no, she came home with a growler one time. I was like, yeah. what is this? She's like, it's not kombucha. It's, it's wellness water, and it's got all this mushroom stuff in it. I'm like, oh, cool. I love so. that stuff. Well, and it tastes like just sparkling water to me. I mean, yeah. like good sparkling water. You right, know. right. Yeah. There's not mm -hmm. too much added flavor into the water. Right. So it's, mm -hmm. it's just, you know, a little bit of seltzer, and it, it just, yeah, it's, it's a really good flavor. Well, yeah. it sounds like, I mean, in addition to things kind of overall being a little bit less sweet than some of the really mm -hmm. like fruit juicy kombuchas that people might have tried, mm -hmm. you know, on a store shelf before, you guys also try and source a lot of your ingredients locally. It sounds like you're, you're, you're very careful and curated with what you're putting in all your blends. Definitely. Yeah. It's only stuff that I would want to drink and I would want my family to drink. And I've been in the, the health and wellness game for decades and, um, you know, juicing since I was a little kid. It was actually my mom that, that got me into kombucha back in the day. She was brewing in the 80s mm -hmm. and I was teaching yoga and I would take kombucha to people after class uh, when I moved to Portland because I found people were kind of more shy than other places that I've lived and taught. And it, it, people would sit around and enjoy it and just kind of, um, you know, it just it just sort of went from there. So it, it started as a as a wellness product, and we try to make it taste as as good as possible. But um, 
the benefit is is definitely you know is something that we want people to take with them throughout their day. Oh, definitely. So people can find these at farmers markets, at PSU, Beaverton, Vancouver, some local grocery stores. Yes, and yes. then you've also got those two tap rooms. I know you always go to the one in Southeast Belmont, yep. but then you've also got a room in St. John's. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, and a brand new one that just opened in Beaverton as well. Oh, awesome. there you go. There I go. Oh, I got my suburban uh -huh. connection. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right, Jean Pierre Parent with Soma Kombucha. Thank you so much for helping us celebrate Kelly's yeah, birthday. Yeah, happy you. birthday. Thank, Thank you. you so much for the support, you guys. Really yeah. appreciate it. Okay.